As discussed in the introductory section, normal distributions do not necessarily have the same means and standard deviations. A normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 is called a standard normal distribution. Areas of the normal distribution are often represented by tables of the standard normal distribution. A portion of the table of the standard normal distribution is shown here. The first column, titled Z, contains values of the standard normal distribution. The second column contains the area below Z. Since the distribution has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1, the Z column is equal to the number of standard deviations below or above the mean. For example, a Z of negative 2.5 represents a value 2.5 standard deviations below the mean. The area below Z is 0.0062. This means that 0.0062 of the distribution is below negative 2.5. The same information can be obtained using the included normal calculator. This figure shows how the calculator can be used to compute the area below a value of negative 2.5 on the standard normal distribution. Note the mean is set to 0 and the standard deviation is set to 1. Although the use of tables is being supplanted by the use of computer programs, it is still important to know what a table of the standard normal distribution is and how to use one. A value from any normal distribution can be transformed into its corresponding value on a standard normal distribution using this formula. In this formula, z is the value on the standard normal distribution, x is the value on the original distribution, mu is the mean of the original distribution, and sigma is the standard deviation of the original distribution. As a simple application, what portion of a normal distribution with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10 is below 26? First, we transform the score of 26 to a score on the standard normal distribution, also known as a z-score. The result is negative 2.4. From the table, we can see that 0.0082 of the distribution is below negative 2.4. There is no need to transform to z if you use the calculator as shown here. If all the values in a distribution are transformed to z-scores, then the distribution will have a mean of 0 and a standard distribution. This process of transforming the distribution to one with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 is called standardizing the distribution. Mm -hmm.